Hey there, welcome to the Two Minute Vinyl Review. I am Sam the Record Man, accompanied by my co-host King Anthrax. And we're vinyl junkies. I'm real excited to tell you about um, Baby Huey, uh, 1971, the Baby Huey story. The one and only album from this gargantuan 400-pound man that uh, unfortunately died before he even got to hear his own album. Uh, he wasn't a part of a band called The Babysitters. Uh, they were huge in Chicago during the 60s, and Curtis Mayfield uh, actually uh, spotted him and wanted to make an album for his Kurtom label. And uh, what he did was, as far as I'm, as far as I remember, he took all of his own musicians, most of his own session musicians, Curtis Mayfield, that is, with a very en enigmatic Baby Huey just singing the vocals and providing energy. And the result is uh, a, a stone-cold funk classic. It's one of those records that you can imagine yourself in a club and know that the joint is fucking popping off once this guy must have started singing. Really punchy horns. So it's like... Bow, 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 bow. You know, like really kind of like staccato type of horns. Drums and bass really holding down... The rhythm. The record's been sampled a million different times, including by Red Man and including by uh, a Tribe Called Quest and a whole bunch of others. 96 times, according to uh, who sampled. And um, I actually have two copies of this record. Uh, this is the 2LP copy with extra tracks. And this is a Scorpio copy that I have. I mean, you can tell right away. By the way, the uh, Run Out Groove is who's releasing it on pre order. There's only 3,000. And as far as I'm concerned, that's definitely a record that once you've gotten behind, uh, let's say, the Slides and the Family Stones and the Isaac Hayes and the Curtis Mayfields and the Stevie Wonder, once you have that part of your funk collection sorted out, Parliament, Funkadelic, the next level is stuff like the Incredible Bongo Band and Baby Huey. This here is a record that I will listen to forever. Uh, if you want to put together a party and uh, your friends are such that they don't have to know the song, they just need to hear a dirty beat, this is going to do it for you. It's going to do it all day long. So I'm glad that the Run Out Groove decided to choose this as one of their cornerstone records. That's their... Um, that's where they think that these are records that belong in every collection. I could not, absolutely not, be more in agreement with this... Um, for people who have the two LP version, I mean, those, I guess, the Ultra Collectors and all the rest of this, it's exactly going to be the same. It's cut from the same metal work as this record here was. So you're going to get audiophile quality. It's going to be in a Stoughton tip-on jacket. So a nice quality jacket, and it's cheap as fuck, $25.99. And look, it'll sound better than this one with will, kind of thing. Now, for completists, you might want to, you know... Go the collector route and look for the 2LP version. And if you want to listen to an original copy, listen, I've heard an original Canadian copy. And as far as I'm concerned, what you're going to be getting with the pre-order beats that uh, simply because there's no scratchiness. Everything was sourced from the analog tapes. So uh, in other words, for a record that will retail at, what, $25.99 or something like that, you are getting tremendous, tremendous value. And it's one of those things where you don't have to keep hunting for a better copy. You got your copy. It's going to be a good one. It's going to seal the deal. So, uh, yeah, that's my two-minute review. If you like it, visit Run Out Groove. The link's below. Get yourself a copy before they're gone. Only 3,000 of these. And uh, are there any other albums we should be talking about? Are there any funk gems that you guys love? Let's start a conversation. Subscribe if you like the content. Over and out. Boom.